Hello, my babe. What's up, Sick Vic? What's up, Fees? What's up, Snake Rap? What's up, Kush? What's up, Avo? I knew you wouldn't ghost us. No, I just had a bunch of other things and tons of other stuff pop up today. Uh, we're doing this, the build that we plan to do today, we're doing that Tuesday. And then we also have the wooden keyboard from KBD Fins I need to add into this week's schedule. And then I, I think something got canceled this week too, if memory serves. Yeah, the Hubble I think is getting moved as well. I'm gonna read, you guys will see it. I'll read you to this week's schedule. I think the, the class 1800 is gonna be moved to 7 p.m. tomorrow as well. This whole week, like the week four on the month long schedule is completely different now, so. People chill. Guess you got the new Zelda game early? Wait, how? Any giveaways today? There is the giveaway today. It's something that I've, I've kind of kept because I really like it. It's the Command 65. Uh, I don't have power on this right now, but it has like, you know, a whole bunch of cool little features and toggles here. I don't know. I think you guys will like it. It's a cute little keyboard. I actually love it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a nice board. I think you guys will like it. Uh, Alex is giving away lovely time with us. I wish I could do more. I would really love to get this to send to my stepfather uh, for Christmas. Oh, that'd be really cool. The real giveaway is the friends we made along the way. Damn, so kind, so nice. Hello cutie, what's up Elkwan? Keyboard color plus desk mat plus cable color. Yeah, do you guys like it? Is it, is it like a vibe? Let me move some stuff out of the way. Dude, I, I, God, I spent so long lubing these switches today. So just do it, let me fill you guys in real quick before we, we get into like a how is everyone's day. I spent a total of, and they're not even like, they're, they're, they sound great. But I spent a total of how long doing these? I think six, six and a half-ish hours. So, is that the new master? Bro, you know, now that you put that in my head, Arsun? Come on, dude. MasterCard desk pad goes insane. Guys, don't be jealous of my MasterCard desk pad. Okay, no one's, everyone stop looking at it now. <laughs> I didn't put two and two together. Oh my god, dude. No way uh, my uh, my joking is getting stolen from... Bunny, I'm so sorry. Did someone else say it too? <laughs> oh man. The black card? Does MasterCard make one of those? Dude, I got the basics, alright? Kip, thank you so much for the tier one, man. Thank you, thank you for two freaking years, dude. Also, Lance, thank you again, man. And thank you guys for the follows too. I really appreciate it, guys. I'm an Amex guy. Yeah, you know, I don't I don't feel like getting into a credit card discussion because, God, there's so many. But, like, I sort of get this impression that most, most of the reward credit cards, for the most part, are basically all the same regardless of what they offer. And then I was looking into the Amex one day because, I, I don't know, I was like, is Amex good? First of all, this is like a $750 fee on that thing per year. And then I think you really have to travel, which I don't, to take advantage of. So, I don't know. Just, the Amex was not something... It, it just, it, the Amex card seems like really uh, something that wasn't t supposed to be tailored towards me. So I'm going to pass on that one. Kilo, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate Alex, it, Alex, it's dude. past my bedtime. How could you do this to me? I'm really sorry, but... Yeah, I just, I really wanted to get this stream in because... Listen, I really... I'm gonna be honest, cause I really want to use this keyboard. So today has been like, uh, I need to get this keyboard done because I want to use it. This is a personal build. Um, well, actually, no, sorry. Today hasn't been one of those days. Today has been, I've been busy. And then I got home at around six o'clock and then also a bunch of other things. So today has been, I lubed these yesterday. Uh, and then I spent another hour after I got home lubing them, and then we had some food, and now we're here to build. That is the truth of what happened today. Whew. Wait, I do have one. It's my fuel card. Oh, for like the Amex stuff? Alex telling us about the lifestyles of the rich and the famous? <laughs> I wish I could tell you guys that. <laughs> Howdy, one one love racer. How you doing, man? How, how you guys doing? 
But how are you guys day today? Was Sunday good? Normally we stream during the day on Sunday and we didn't get a chance to today. So I hope everyone had a good day. I hope everyone, uh, hope everyone feels good today too. I got my first camera today. Ooh. So I have to take some pics. What do you use to hold your camera to record to the desk? Do you mean the above one? The above one is just a, I say crappy, but honestly, I don't know what a good one looks like. So maybe this is great. Uh, but it's a run of the mill, newer uh, stand. And it's just like a, it's called a boom, a boom God, arm damn, mount. Sure, thank you so much for five tier ones right now, man. I, come on, bro. I wish I can give you a big old hug right now, dude. Thank you so much for that, dude. Uh, but it's just a newer boom arm stand that I've just mounted a, um, oh my God, I cannot remember the tripod head name. A ball mount tripod head. <laughs> Dude, I don't even remember because I, I dove deep into what tripod heads were good at one point. I know geared ones are the ones that I'm using currently, but uh, that one there is a ball head. Hey Alex, really like the new giveaway format. Thank you. It's way more digestible, right guys? Actually, quick little review on the giveaway format. Do we like this? Maybe next time we decide to do a big subathon type thing, maybe we just spread it over the course of a month. Do we like this or do we like it all in one day type thing? Do you guys feel like this is more digestible? My reasoning, I don't mean to influence you guys. You guys can still tell me it's shit. My reasoning is anyone who normally subs anyways, at least it counts towards this regardless of what time of the month it is. So it just, it kind of adds. And it doesn't feel as like, like, you know, quick subs all in one day. And then, I don't know. I know, I, I, I appreciate that way too lucky, but you know, just, just wanted some feedback. All in one month is fun, but monthly is good too. Okay. I dropped $25 CAD for shipping from Vint Keys for a couple of Elp switches, made me sad. Shipping do be sad, dude. Shipping, do be sad. I had something come in, was it this week? Love the late night stream. Looks like him not sleeping early after all. <laughs> Love you, No, Alex. dude. Guys, please. I know it's late. If you guys have to sleep, thank you for the three, by the way. I would 100% sleep, dude. Um, I'm new to Twitch. Voyager, it's just like ways to support the channel. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. It's just something extra. Uh, did you see the Neo 75? No, wait. I know there's that other one that you guys were talking about. That other TKL that I guess Owl Labs is doing. The sub brand or whatever. I haven't checked out the new one though. They did mention it to me. Thank you Elcon, Elcon for gifting gifted Voyager a tier one sub. sub to Voyager 786. They have thank given you, 199 you. gift subs in the channel. Who needs sleep? I got Keeb Jesus to listen to. Sick, Vic. Tails on. All right. So quick little recap on the board we're doing today. We'll put it over the MasterCard desk pad. <laughs> Evo 80 and Neo 75. Interesting how, I hope those don't get released too close together. I'm getting the Quantum 2. Yeah, so apparently this, uh, Apparently there's going to be 50 extra units. And actually, I wanted to read some stuff that was sent over to me by the designer. So this is not a sponsored stream. This this is something I purchased. This is like something that we got. Um, they did ask if I wanted to make some extra content for this. I said, well, 100% yes. The board's really cool. Um, they did send me a little bit more info. They basically said that uh, the final production had a big issue with, I believe, which part was it? The stainless steel middle middle case, I believe. So apparently they had to file down some edges of for the alignment screws to ensure an easier fit. So there's gonna be some like weird stuff on the inside. I personally don't have any issues with it. If it's not showing, it doesn't matter to me none. I've always felt that way with keyboards. I get it though from the other standpoint, which is it matters to some people who spend a lot of money. I get that. Um, but apparently the factory didn't want to remake the parts. By the way, this is the shitty side of doing this stuff sometimes. And I wish more designers would share these stories. Not as an excuse, but to kind of show... 
I don't want to say the word horror because it's not really like scary or anything. To kind of show like mishaps and some of the dangers of doing some of these things. Because when a factory doesn't want to redo a part that they fucked up, which happens more often than you think, you then... Like, for example, this apparently was around $10,000 to remake I all don't the stainless actually steel have pieces. anything to say. Just take these bits. Thank you. I appreciate that, Jessful. So, you know, in this case here, for them to kind of find a different solution and file down something, like, I'm fine with. It's, it's to me, like, I don't want this person to be in debt uh, because the factory fucked something up. Like, I don't know. I, f I feel like I try to have realistic expectations with this stuff, you know? So, it doesn't matter to me none, as long as the outside's okay. Uh, but yeah, let's put back on our music here. It seems to have stopped. I don't know why. Oh, it's just paused. Or it's just changing songs. I wonder what happens uh, for their bottom line. Well, sometimes they're screwed. So, there are some people who have to redo things because it's an exterior portion. Um... But sometimes they are screwed and they have to redo things and people don't understand. I'm not, I'm not saying it's, you know. Gurney Lunderskull gifted a tier one sub Thank to Thank you, Gurney. I appreciate that, dude. They have given 33 gift subs in the channel. Uh, if I recall the order extras for that reason. Well, okay. I'm not talking so much about one or two units. I am talking about an entire piece that gets manufactured wrong for every single unit. Sometimes manufacturers just say, eat shit. And they tell you, we're not going to do anything. This was in within our spec or whatever. Um, and you have to buy new things. Yeah, like Gian, I know, has had to do big batch redos. And he, I mean, he's his own manufacturer. And then there's been some other, some other boards in which, you know, have gone sideways. Bion, for example, with his original bias run. Yeah, Helheim just had that happen to him right now, too, where they're telling him, eat shit, because they manufactured the glass wrong, so now he has to compensate with a different O-ring. Uh, not that it's affecting the board at all, doesn't affect the sound. It's just, you know, he has to now order and make new O-rings for everything. So there, there are some, like, dangers and, like, some things that I feel like should be made aware when you're doing manufacturing, especially when you're doing it as, like, a solo run. But in this case here, I already looked at the board. I haven't opened it up. Other than like a few smidge pieces here and there on the internal. Like little pieces, little little nicks here. I, I mean, it doesn't really bug me. Then you can't even really fucking see it. Alright, I'm so pumped up for this board, dude. Look at this thing. Polycarbonate, you got the extra stainless. There you got the aluminum. Damn. Let's actually put the feet on right now. Uh, it looks so good. Ah, dude, I know, bro. I'm so pumped up for this. Bunch of numbers did uh, a fantastical job on this. Uh, feet. That's what I'm looking for. Is there feet in here? Did I see feet? Oh, right there. Grinnell, thank you so much for the tier one to Keebsaw. Gurney Lunderskull gifted a tier one sub to Keebsaw. Huh? They have given 34 gift subs in the channel. Alex actually excited for a board? I mean, I'm excited for all the boards we do. I think this one here is extra exciting because when I first saw this board, you know, I actually went back um, yesterday night and rewatched my- Gurney Lunderskull gifted thank a tier you. one sub thank to Tree oh, underscore fingers underscore. They have given 35 gift subs in the channel. Thanks, guys. So nice. Thanks, so honey. But I went back and watched the VOD, and uh, I, I, I remembered my end kind of like, woo, this is nice. And then I remembered the few points of criticism I had for the board, so... so nice. I don't think I'm going to be disappointed by this in one slight bit. Mosquito, thank you so much for the tier one. I appreciate that. Wow, a person that can stand to rewatch their own content? You know, okay, I will admit there are bits and pieces in which I go, ew, I'm cringe. Or like, uh, why do I say things like that? But for the most part, I can confidently say that I'm, I'm pretty like normal. Like when it comes to the way I interact with everyone here and how I am IRL. 
So, I don't know. It doesn't bug me to watch it because I'm just like, yeah, that's just who I am. So nice. Toil at ananas nas das. Toil at ananas nas das. Toil at ananas nas das. Can you please explain the late stream, sir? Thank you for all you do in the streams. Huh? Um, late night stream? Because I was busy all day. <laughs> it's literally it, dude. Also, oh honey, long time VOD Can't watcher, first time stream watcher? What's up, dude? Welcome Sometimes in. everyone. Oh, I need to cut this open. <sighs> Alex, you'd look like you'd be, you'd be a comfortable couch. What are you saying? I'm easy, I'm easy to like... Well, I'm, I'm soft or something? Please, 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 no diodes fall off. <laughs> we good. Alrighty. The one thing I... I I'm kind of like, I don't know. I'm still debating on whether or not I like it. I know they have this one cut separating the... What's it called? Um, macro over here. But you know what? Fuck it. I guess I don't mind. <laughs> what are we going to build this with? Uh, you just like it. You have the perfect amount of squish. <laughs> Man, that's a compliment. Uh, why is the PCB cut? Uh, I think it's to add some relief so it's not super... I don't know. Maybe it was to help with the sound around here. I mean, I'm sure there's a really valid reason. Um, what keycap set you got planned for this one? You know, I was thinking about moving this over to this, but I really don't know what I want to put on this. I was considering just doing like noir or something, something like very bold, like not bold rather, but contrasty compared to the case. Because I feel like I always just go with like a very light keycap set when it comes to these kind of frames here. So I'm thinking like a black keycap set, you know what I mean? You seem like the type of person to sit at a bar in the middle of the highway one night purely drinking non-alcoholic root beer and offering life-changing advice to passerbys for no cost other than their own success. I mean, if someone ever has questions, I'm always willing to answer to the best of my ability. I am by no means like, I don't know. I feel like there's some things I can offer advice on, but... I don't think I have all the answers in the world. <laughs> you know, I, I think I, 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 I am still learning too. I am very much in the learning phase for all of this stuff. Okay, now here comes the part that I kind of blanked on while I was building this, but well, while I was deciding on parts. So I have two PCBs technically. For this one here, I am considering using the aluminum plate. For the second build, because I do want to do two builds for this, I don't know when I'm going to do it. The second build, I'm going to build plateless. But I I was going to do the plateless one today, and then after I finished lubing these, I flipped them over, and I'm like, oh, three pins. So that's not happening today. <laughs> so we'll just do this another day. But we'll just... uh. We'll just worry about getting our stabs done right now. But I think I'm going to do aluminum plate O-ring for this one. I think that's going to be the game plan here. Okay, dude, these are interesting switches. So these are... Oh, man. Okay, I am not like a switch connoisseur. So don't... Uh... Hold on. Let me find the exact thing for these ones here. Hold on, hold on. Are you building with that new manufacturer? I think they make these fruit switches, strawberries, oh wait, cherries. <laughs> yeah, this isn't a new manufacturer. They build cherry switches. We might have, might have missed them. So these are, oh my God, where are they? Why can I not find them? Here we go. Uh, these are vintage switches, but these are 1983 West Germany vintage cherry switches. Um, and from what I understand, these are a pretty hard to hard to come by switch. I, I will say uh, these switches, like, do you guys hear these? This is lubed, filmed, spring swapped.
The scratch is unreal, dude. Unreal. <clears throat> the meme of asking if their West Germany switches is real for once. It's unreal, dude. How much did you get them for? These were actually sent from Unikeys months and months and months ago. I just didn't know what to put them in. They asked if I wanted to sample some more of their vintage switches. And uh, these are not cleaned. So I did have to clean some of these myself. And I did it manually. Hence why it took six hours to do. But they, did, they basically said like, hey, we're not going to be cleaning these. Um, you can just have them. But I didn't do the exterior. I only did the interior because I thought it looked cool. That is what what happened. And then some of the interior I also just couldn't do. Uh, I just grabbed like a Q-tip really and then I used some sort of, I don't even remember what I used for the mixture. I was so out of it last night doing these things. Uh, W1 diamond switches are just recolors of diamond avalons. As far as I'm aware, yes. Um, no, mine weren't dirty. Thank goodness mine weren't super dirty. They just, some of them had like some extra bit of like what looked like a rust or something embedded in the plastic. Some of it I couldn't remove. Some of it did have like some fine coating of what looked like, you know, it just looked like dust. Um, sorry, mine did have dust. It, did, it wasn't dirty, dirty to the point where it's like disgusting. But um, it, it wasn't terrible. Yeah, and then I left the, ex I did one or two where I cleaned the, ex the outside and I was like, you know what? I kind of like it just like this. So I just left it. I don't know. I thought today would be a fun build. I thought we'd get a kick out of this today. I'm glad uh, I'm glad some people tuned in. I know it's late. I was even debating on just not doing this today and doing it another day. Where did it go? Did I just drop it somewhere? Oh, here it is. Spring rust. Yeah, the springs were, believe it or not, some of the springs were in like fucking mint condition. But some of them were really bad because this this batch here, you can tell there were some that were slightly broken in more than others. Um, from what I understand, this came from like one board. But uh, yeah, some of them, the springs mint and then other ones, they were rusted and just like destroyed. What do you think about Noxary Vulcan Pro? I don't think I have I ever built one of those. You know, I don't even remember what that looks like. The delete key must have been so bad. Well, I don't know which one was which, but there was like one or two where, actually there was one where I ended up just having to move aside because it was so broken in that it actually felt different than the other ones. So, yeah, okay. The ones from UniKey, some of them are a little bit, I don't quite understand the pricing on uni keys for some of these things. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I don't get why some of them are like the insanely expensive versions like 1985 Weiss vintage switches are $569 Canadian. Um, I don't know what the going rate of these are. I typically just get like the 1990s vintage switches. So this is my first time ever using anything older than 1990. Uh, and like I said, I don't know much about the older stuff. I did check on eBay and it does look like some of the better condition ones are insanely expensive too. So I don't know. I don't know what the big difference between like a 1991 versus like a 1983 to 86 or whatever. I, I do have my Encore built with some of the 1990 something ones. So it'd be interesting to kind of put them side by side and really tell the big, okay, here's, I don't know if you guys are even interested in this. One thing that I will say, I was opening these things and I would say 99% of them that I opened, when I opened them, not only were they very tough to open and I thought it was like dirt or like, you know, them being kind of like old, they do not feel fragile one bit. They were incredibly strong plastic. And then I almost really felt like I didn't need to put a film in this. I only did it for the sound 
Not so much for anything else. There was no wiggle with, uh, with the housing one bit. These clamped back together, and I kid you not, they are like, they were sealed shut. So if there's one thing I can tree already tell you, fingers underscore gifted thank you, Tree one Fingers, sub to Priestfish one. the quality of what felt like the plastic felt so much different than any other switch I've ever used. Like, it, these just felt like solid, dude. So that is maybe one thing that I can really critis I can criticize, just mention. Like, they felt solid. You know, with Frost, I was literally saying that to some friends today, but I don't think any of them really cared. I was like, yeah, they just really don't make it like they used to. But it was pretty crazy. Um, I would say I would still probably pick MX two A's if I'm being real with you guys, only because I already like listen. I already know there's gonna be a bunch of these things that I ended up looping like twelve extra, because a there's probably gonna be something uh, damaged with some of the older switches. Sometimes the the contact pads are just like rusted away and they don't work. Or b one or two of these will feel off and I need to change them. I think if you just want more consistent, get the MX2As. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's crazy. I, I really wish that they would make them like this again, man. This, this is like, dude, these are rock solid, dude. Vints are too much work for what you have to get, IMO. Yeah, I feel like getting into vintage stuff is like a niche within the already niche hobby, if you know what I mean. Can we see some of the pin porn? They're actually not bad, dude. Look. They're not bad. Here, let me zoom in more for you, meme. Ugh. Like, it's not bad, right? All of these looked really good. There was like one or two of them, like I said, that looked maybe concerning, but... Man, I'm so pumped to use these, though. And then I used these springs because I was so curious about these springs. I used these ones today for the springs. Swag Keys Chewy Springs. So these are going to be interesting. First time using Swag Keys Springs for, for any board. Have you guys used them before? Chewies are really nice. Ooh. The vintage nylon is something, some different shit though, like on a good level or a bad level, Ugg Tug. Now you got me concerned. Uh, let's get my lube. Do you take fan art or stuff like that? I've only had one person, one or two people do it ever, but I've printed out both of them and they're like in a, a scrapbook somewhere. But yeah, I mean, not that I, I mean, you guys can do it if you, it makes you happy. I just want you guys to be happy. If you guys want to do it and it makes you happy, you know, I, I will gladly always say, do what makes you happy. And if that involves making fan art of this channel, eh, you know what? You do you. I will gladly look at it and 100% always smile. Unless you put me in like a Greg outfit, then I won't smile too much. I just laugh. And someone already did that. Uh, they were originally designed by a physicist in Korea or some shit. Really? A physicist in Korea? How rusty can some of them get? Oh, some of them were bad. I, I threw out two. Two were completely, well, one was too broken in, like I said. It wasn't even that rusty. One of them was just like gone. Like I already looked at the contact pad and I'm like, yeah, it's this dunzo. I might have actually thrown out one more. I don't remember now. I felt like a fever dream lubing these things last night. Really did. I'll uh, ask again since you didn't see it, but is it possible for you to lube out the scratch of a bunch of switches? Nah, nah not... <sighs> yes and no. I feel like to get rid of a scratch with just some lube, it has to be such a minor, minor scratch. So, bunch of numbers. I'm going to do plate plate today because I lubed three pin switches and I don't, I don't want that, uh, that bad omen on me of having to align three pins. <laughs> you know what I mean? The board looks... Hey, if you guys didn't know, a bunch of numbers is the designer. The board looks fantastic, dude. 
I got to admit, this color turned out better than I could have even expected. You did a great job, bro. Uh, I'm hoping it assembles okay. Obviously, I haven't opened this up or anything, but it's, it looks gorgeous. Also, a bunch of numbers. When is it? When are extras getting released? Uh, if you put the plate over the top of the switches, it lines up good. Uh, I still don't want that heat. I don't want that heat, Evo. If the Chewies are the same, you should be able to stand them upright on the desk and they stand perfectly straight. Most longer st springs drift one direction. Oh, interesting. Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. None of that three pin voodoo. <laughs> yeah, I don't want none of the three pin shit today, guys. I did. I actually was um, telling some people about the, the woes of manufacturing and some of the hardships that people have to face. Bunch of numbers. When you're doing manufacturing and... Well, when you send stuff to get manufactured and, uh, you know, how, how not annoying per se it can be, but, you know, some of the difficulties and challenges that arise for some people who run these projects, it's, it's difficult. I personally, I think you made a good decision in what you did because the last thing I would want you to do a bunch of numbers is like to go get things redone and just like everything gets fucked up and all that jazz. Boards are arriving uh, with me next week. Extras will likely be end of October. There, there is your answer, everybody. And I think a bunch of numbers said there's going to be about 50 extras. <laughs> Shake and bake, Ricky Bobby. By the way, I watched episode two and, ep well, almost done episode three of uh, Rings of Power. Can I, can I ask, why does everyone hate the show? I actually am genuinely like so entertained by it right now. Like the settings look good, the costumes look good. I like the storyline so far. I don't know. I feel like everyone. I mean, it's a show though. I don't mind it being slow. Last two episodes were good and way better. I haven't seen the last two. I don't know. I've been, I've been really enjoying the first two episodes. Must hate because Amazon. Yeah, like, I tried watching the first episode of Halo, and I couldn't fucking do that. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go back to watching Rings of Power now that a few episodes are out. But yeah, didn't like the first season, didn't... Really, I like the first season, too. But I, I want to know more so, like, for people that are big Lord of the Rings fans, like, why? May I know how often you retune the stabs of your keyboards? Uh, okay, here's a good example. I've used this board for since it came out on a regular basis, and I have yet to retune these. Uh, I think I want to retune them. Actually, I don't even know if I need to. But I would say like once a year, maybe. At most. But I, when I go to retune them, I also clean them a little bit too. Fallout was so good, dude. It's hard to uh, not compare Rings of Power to oh, the, like the, the trilogy. I, I get that. Uh, hi, Vaza. Today's sub goal is... For the Command 65. This beautiful retro themed keyboard has like a battery in it and all that jazz. And then it has, you know, like the whole, what is it called? The, um, where it buzzes and stuff, the buzzer and a bunch of all those fun features. It's a cool little neat little board. Follow it's really good, Toby. I'm so happy you like it, but it's a no from me, dog. So much of the show just doesn't make sense. Okay, I will tell you guys, I am also watching it while working. So I'm not, it's so annoyed, that, thank you. I'm not 100% taking in everything like, and I'm not being super critical because it's it's just good entertainment that I can digest while I'm working. So maybe that's causing some level of bias, I'm not sure. Uh, right now I'm watching The Bear, but I'll do after, oh yeah, The Bear's good too. The Bear's a good show. Fallout's amazing though, I really liked it. I thought it captured uh, the fun that is the- Happy Sunday night. The game. Hi, Abel. How you doing, man? Did they end up canceling the Star Wars one? You can watch this off stream, but this is a perfect example of why I don't like other than some water. TY, do you mind DMing me that? Cause I'm, if I click it now, Sometimes I just close my browser after I'm done streaming. 
Yeah, dude, Apple TV, seriously, like, I know people like to hate on Apple and, you know, I don't really love their new product lines all that much because I think it's kind of lame, but dude, their shows, their their platform for, for stuff right now has been on point. I also heard really good things about that new Marvel series. Hey, Alex. Traveling for work, Hi, Jason. chilling, watching Keeb stuff. Traveling for work? Where are you traveling right now? That sounds kind of fun though, man. Um, going back to this hobby really makes me happy seeing how keyboard kits dropped in prices. Kind of disappointing that keycaps didn't change much though. I would argue that keycaps have changed a little bit. Okay, hear me out. I don't, maybe this depends on when you kind of left and came back. I would argue that there's a lot more availability. And to some degree, you can get a lot of great things on sales. And you don't have to really, like, it sounds ridiculous because sometimes you do have to pay full price. But if a set is not super popular, obviously they're going to drop the price a little bit. But yeah, I, I will say that lead times have also dropped too. It doesn't seem as drastic as some of the keyboards. And maybe that's, maybe that's the big thing. Definitely not as drastic. But I'm glad that you're back, man. I think keyboards are in such a good spot right now. The kits have been insane. The classic TKL is doing some crazy things with its price point. Oh, uh, this way. If you're looking at GMK, it's definitely gotten lower, like 150 down to 120. And some kits are even cheaper. You can get them on sale for 99 bucks, sometimes even lower. Uh, I waited two years for my first GMK set. Yeah. For Happy real. Sunday, Alex. Going back. It's so up. glad to be a part of this wonderful community. Dude, same here, man. I may, I may not say this enough, but you guys have literally changed my life in so many ways. It's nice to have like a place we can hang out and just chill. And we don't have to take everything too serious. We can have conversations like this. Oh, I know you have your stabilizer ranking. Damn, oh my God. Vaza. Oh my goodness. All right, well, let's get this sub. Let's get this sub. What is it? The giveaway prepped right now, dude. Thanks, man. Holy crap. Where is my giveaway thing? I thought I had it prepped. I did. Hold on. Let me, let me click it. Oh my God, dude. Thank you, dude. Uh, command 65. Vaza, how are you doing, man? One. Okay, hold on. Command 65. Oh, hold on one second. No, 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 no. Hold on. Can't. I have to redo it. One second. One second. I made. I made it so ticket prices were. They they cost it. I forgot to give everyone a, a sub, or a free one here. Or else it would have cost you like a bajillion points. Hold on one second. There we go. Now you can join it. Hopefully you didn't steal points anywhere. Okay, perfect. It didn't cost any points. Okay, thank goodness no one bought any, or else I would have had to figure out a way to refund those points. Bro woke up and chose generosity. Thank you again, Vaz. I really appreciate it, man. I hope your day's been absolutely insane. Identical message? No, but you get a free ticket. That's, I forgot to click the button. Uh, you, there's a button saying like first ticket free or else it would cost you like 100,000 channel points for a ticket. I didn't want you guys to, to do that. There's a decent amount of GMK sets on sale on drop. Yeah, I mean, there's tons, you know, there's tons of good stuff. And thank you guys. I, I, I hope you've been enjoying this month long giveaway session that we've been doing. There's going to be like six streams today, which means six potential keyboards. So, uh, drop, not the best QC. Um, maybe for the drop stuff, but for the GMK stuff, that's, I don't really know if that's in their playing field per se. I don't know. I feel like drop lately has gotten a smidge better. I used to have issues with them with the audio stuff. It wasn't my favorite thing to deal with. Yeah, Kikobo has lots of good stuff too. That's a very good point. I, I very much agree with that. Uh, I'm enjoying it, except I haven't won anything yet. Hopefully soon, man. Hopefully we can give away tons more keyboards. X-Ray was really good. I know you have your stabilizer ranking article, but is there anything new that's not on there? 
Okay, so in terms of new stabs, there's only the new V3 Duroc stabs that I haven't put on there yet because I have literally still not encountered a set of those. So, what else? Um, is there any other new stabs that I... I haven't really touched the Gatoron stabs. Well, I, you know, technically I've used four sets. I need to use one more for me to officially rank it. The... The Gatoron stabs are fine. They're just pricey. Um, or no, did I rank those? I think I did. No, I don't think I've ranked the Gatoron ones yet. I have used the um, Type Plus ones. They are ranked. They're not the best ranked ones for one reason. Um, simply because I found that they are a little daunting to assemble. Like you need a left and right. And you know, I have talked to a few people and they said, okay, well I can't, like sometimes I, I forget that and then I start assembling it and it's like a pain in the ass. And then I also heard reports that the wires weren't super good on the Type Plus, but Type Plus actually messaged me and they said, oh, we're fixing that. So good to hear. I really love this system. I know you can't do it all the time, but giving away a keyboard to stream has been more fun than one big subathon where you give a ton of time. Just my opinion. I mean, that's what I plan on doing forever now, by the way. Like, there's going to be no more just one day sub things. This is a lot more digestible and it's just a lot less hectic. How do I like the vertical mouse? It, it has its moments. I still don't know if I'm going to use this forever. I think eventually I'll just get rid of this and replace it with a gaming mouse and keep the trackpad and then a gaming mouse for when I have to do other stuff. I find that it is comfortable though and there's not a lot of wrist pain that goes alongside this. So maybe that's a plus. Uh, we'll draw the giveaway, which again is the, the command 65 that I showed you guys. Uh, I'll draw the giveaway once we've put the stabs in the PCB. And I tuned them. I think this makes it go towards someone that actually chills in the stream. Yeah, because you don't have to, there's no one like, you know, hedging their bets on being on time for a certain day. And also I don't tell people what's being given away until day of stream, so. Uh, anything that keeps your hand uh, in that less turn position is goaded long-term. Yeah, that's what I've been told, Ugg Tug. It, it apparently has a long-term benefit to it, but it's just still a little hard to use. Really? I like the other one a little bit more. There's actually one more of these mouse pads that I think is really cool too. What about designer stabs on Click Clack? Wait, there's designer stabs on Click Clack? Which ones? Uh, hey Alex, this is Derivative R2 coming up and was wondering your current day thoughts on it. I still like the board. I do think that the my only new criticism for the derivative after you know getting to play with my own unit of it is I think there is obvious obvious better mounting styles for the derivative. Also, Plips, thank you again for the tier one. I don't know if I thanked you. There's better mounting styles for it. So I would love if JJW kind of went back to the drawing board with some of the other mounting styles to make them all really, really good. Because I think there right now there's like, what, three styles of mounting that you can do? And I think only one of them has been like top tier for what I like anyways. But I feel like maybe that's even a tough conversation to have because it's very personal. What is this? Adaptive stabs? Dude, I'm so... They're... Oh, they're, they move on the inside. Is this sort of like... I mean, these sort of just look like night stabs. There's like a piece of plastic that moves a little bit and is not as stiff, I guess. Is that the, is that the idea, is to be like night stabs here? Stabs are a tough one for me to... Doing good. It's Monday 8 a.m. right here. I'm traveling to Korea this week. Ooh, for work or for like family stuff? Or what are you doing there? How long are you going for? 
Um, stabs are really tough for me to do, by the way, guys. Like, in terms of rank them properly, I guess. That's why I just gave them num a number system. Like, I, I, I really had to sit down and think, like, okay, what makes a good stab? But if I'm being real with you guys, like, the biggest thing for me, and if you guys saw my ranking system, I have, like, what, four things I rank on it? You can be the best in terms of value, but you can also be the worst in terms of, like, how long, how much work does it take to get to a stab? You know, like, you have to put a lot of work into it. To this day, it's really hard for me to say any other stab is just as good as a regular cherry clipping. And then you know what? In terms of availability... The Duroc stabs are great. I like them. <laughs> and then if you really want to get cheap, like the mode stabs are fine. I've heard some new weird things with those that I got to go experiment with because they're like very particular issues that I haven't encountered yet. Um, so I'll go re-take a look at those, but I don't, I don't know. I still find it hard to believe some of them have issues. I've used so many of those now. Um, but yeah, I don't know. The, the Duroc stabs and Cherry are still my go-tos, guy. I, I don't know, man. They're really tough. Really tough for me to say anything else. And and the value you get off of a Duroc stab, or sorry, a cherry clipping rather, like it's so hard to beat, dude. How, like where else am I spending? I mean, technically these cost me what? This was like, techni technically, I think this was about six bucks for all these that you see on my desk right now for stabs. I know I bought in bulk, but like, even when I wasn't buying in bulk, maybe seven, eight dollars with this with shipping. Uh, the seven new wires I bought from Cafage, which is an Australian vendor, which is the only reason I think these went up in price in terms of like the overall cost of this. And the two U wires, Came with the housings. I buy from Balkan from Mouser. I'm not gonna gatekeep that info for you guys. I just bought it from Mouser. <laughs> I bought this gigantic bag of stabs, and this is just the housings. So, been loving Cafe Spam in the group. Uh, makes my day every day. Yeah, I need to, did I put them on my, my my list? I think I did recently, or I think I might have had them. I, I gotta give them like a star. They ship things out really quick, considering they're in a different country and stuff too. Bro has the goods. Hopped in for a bit before I go to bed. Hope your day has been good, Alex. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate the bits, 001. And also, Vaza. You said for work? Oh man, I hope I hope you get like a day to yourself while you're while you're there. I've never done like a, a international well, technically I sort of actually not not like that. International work trip sounds so cool. Okay, we'll draw the winner in like 20 seconds here guys, so make sure you enter. Okay. Let's move over all these. Uh. Alrighty, guys. The Command 65 goes to... Zany! Congratulations! <laughs> Congrats, Zany! Alright, let me put you on the list here. So many good earth tone boards out lately. Bro, I know. Congrats, Zany. I don't see him typing. Where is he? Did I did he type or did I just miss it? Okay, hold on. Congrats, Zany. Zany's always here too. Okay. I'll put him down. Zany, DM me on Twitch, please. My stream is behind. Oh, is it? I hate when that happens. I do that sometimes too. All right. All right. Tomorrow, we're going to have another giveaway. 
So we'll we'll do something more. We'll do something um, not more fun, but something equally as fun tomorrow. So if you guys want, tune in tomorrow. I mean, I would love for you guys to stay tonight and just chill and watch me build the keyboard. But if you guys don't want to and just are here for giveaways, I understand that too. But tomorrow we'll give away a keyboard. I don't know which one yet because this week here I have to, I, my whole schedule is fucked up this week. I gotta, we're doing like six keyboards. Um, I looked up the one of zero website for those pads. Apparently they don't sell them anymore. What? They still should. Maybe they took them down for this week? I don't know if they were supposed to be up until next week or not. I don't even know if they were supposed to be sold, but they should be still be there. I'll, I'll ask for a link for you guys tomorrow. Do you share your photography anywhere besides your amazing keyboard photos? Nah, I haven't really had a chance to go take pictures outside recently. I've been, not that I don't love keyboards, but I've been very tied up with keyboards lately. Like, extremely. So I, and then also with the move that we, we did and just everything else, like I have been so exhausted. Like after I'm done stream tonight, I have to clean the desk and like get some stuff packed and shipped and stuff. And then I'm hoping I can find 30 minutes to just like after I shower to just like figure out maybe something I can do for fun. But yeah, September has been in a crazy month. August was also a crazy month for, for keyboard releases and just client builds. I think October is going to be normal. Like we, ha I had a pretty decent, like normal July and June. I'd say, I, th I think I thought they were crazy, but no, nah, they were pretty normal. Uh, vacation. I went on vacation technically last year around September. My first vacation ever in my entire life. But yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll see how the next few weeks goes. Um, I'm probably gonna take a few days off late October, but I need to also, I need to make a post in the Discord about slots, cause I'm almost out of slots for October now too. Oh, thank you, Ugtug. Dang zany one. <laughs> I entered one after them. Did you? All right, let's get our plate out. I'm so pumped to build this right now. Did I win? Yeah, Zany, you won. I thought I sent you a message. You won, Zany. I don't know now. Should I go aluminum or should I go plastic plate? No, I'm doing aluminum. Aluminum's the move, right? Fuck, I don't know what to do. Is a bunch of numbers still here? I need to know what he prefers. I used carbon fiber, I believe, for the the prototype unit. I feel like I should go aluminum and cherry because that's like a classic combo, right? Do you have any other keyboard hobbies or collections besides keyboard and photography? Not anymore. Um, strictly due to financial limitations. I think at one point I was also sort of getting into clothing and just like fashion stuff, but like, I just, I can't, man. I haven't used PP since I received a production unit. Haven't been able to use anything else since. Oh, I'm nervous. Fuck it, let's do aluminum. Yeah, yeah, let's just do aluminum. Let's just do aluminum. I think alu, I think we do alu as well. Cause I wanna, I wanna use the, um, I don't wanna, I don't wanna mount this any other way, but using the, what's it called? Uh, O-ring right now. Oh wait, should I install those other things first? These things? I think we should, right? It's easier to do this first. So the cool thing about this board, if you guys remember the prototype stream, uh, which screws is which now? I think this is, this is, oh no, I got two bags. There's no West Germany vintage MX Blacks without aluminum. Okay, fine, we'll do aluminum. Right, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm getting really excited for this build right now. So, let's get our screwdriver kit. So we need to screw this in first. These are our posts. And then I think it is this screw? No, I'm not too sure which screw it was. 
a bunch of numbers. Is it this screw? Just the sm it's not the longer screw, the bigger screw, right? It's the smaller screw? Non-magnetic ones? Oh, so it is the bigger screws. Okay, okay. I forgot, it's been a while. Probably easier to do this first. Smaller non-magnetic ones, okay. Oh wait, is it this screw? Non-magnetic small ones. Oh, oh, this. Okay, so it isn't this one here. Not the one, button head ones. I'm assuming this one, you mean. This one, right? Leave my MasterCard dust pad alone. Not this one. Yes, okay. Thank you, thank you. I don't think this uses a different screw head. I bought another cashmere felt desk pad and it's coming in soon. Man, you are a brave, brave person. I cannot do things like that. How's the new setup so far? I posted a little picture of it on Twitter, but I haven't got everything I need in yet for it. I'm still waiting. I'm also kind of bummed too right now because I have, I, I ordered a few things from, uh, not, not to get into sappy details about it, but yeah, I, I got a bunch of numbers. Thank you so much. I ordered a few things from some, long story short, I ordered a, a nice whiteboard because I really wanted a whiteboard and ordered a few other things, but a lot of the stuff I've ordered said, oh, we're, and I hate when companies do this. It said, oh, you know, we have these in stock delivering next week. And then guess what happens? Suddenly we're back ordered until next year. So that's been a little frustrating. And I canceled a few of my, my orders like for furniture and just like other little things. But at this point here, like, I also don't want to buy really expensive stuff. Frustrating. Frustrate. You know what, Toby? Leave me alone. It, it is. It is a little annoying though. Uh, I picked up some switch modding stuff and an artisan key. Ooh, I didn't even know they had a a warehouse that you can go into. It is true. Life showers on you when you least expect it. Could you show the keyboard on stream? My girlfriend wants to see it. Sure, give me one sec, Zany. Really digging that cable you have on your desk? Gives a nice contrast. Thank you. All right, so this is one really, really, really interesting feature about this board. If you guys sort of remember this, now to make this work, the O-ring actually sits underneath the PCB, not in between it, which means technically you can use whatever stabs you want. But because it sits underneath of it, I think it's underneath, right? Bunch of numbers. I'm not going crazy. It was underneath, right? I don't believe it was on top. Or was it on top and that was only for plateless? Oh boy, did I get this wrong now? I can't remember. It is underneath, okay. So it sits underneath and then basically you, you don't need to do anything. Yeah, you don't need to do anything to... Uh, use special stabs or whatnot. And then it also sits nice and flush. So there's no need for like it to press against any of the plastic of the state stab housings because it sits on its own thing over here. So it's pretty interesting. It is very, very interesting. We do kind of have to assemble it first though. Yeah, we'll do a plateless version. If we have time, maybe like the second week of October. But for now, we'll do the plate version because it didn't click in my head again with the three pin switches. Which plate today? We'll do aluminum today. What's up, Asian Dude 101? How you doing, man? Hello, Mr. Toes. The new setup is clean, but the real question is if the new desk is still flat or not. It's, it's super flat. <laughs> I'm so glad those jokes are over, by the way. So glad, dude. You guys have no idea. Now there's a new one with the MasterCard. 
That's crazy, dude. New desk, great hair, best Thanks. vibes. Crushing it. Love you. Hair will be gone soon, though. I desperately need to cut it all off. I think I'm actually going to treat myself for the first time in many years to go to the barber instead of doing it ourselves. Not that I don't like the hair that we do here, but uh, I have an event that we need to go to and sometimes we fuck up my hair. Cause sometimes I, I don't know, I like try to do something different. Yeah, we do it ourselves, save money. Alex going bald? Am I? Oh yeah, excuse me, sorry about that. It's this guy. MasterCard sponsorship. I don't have nice. one. I wish, man. That'd be sick. Sponsored by MasterCard. Flatter than root beer that's been open for a week? I'd still drink the shit out of that, dude. I would still drink that like crazy. Do you have any advice for keyboard designers and sourcing manufacturers and getting their I designs mean, produced I mean, you in build general? keyboards internationally, oh Miguel, but I get the point. You get to see places you've never been before. Yeah. Techn technically, you're not wrong. I do get to build it internationally, but yeah, I don't go international. Um, do I have any advice though, Mango? I'm trying to think. Sorry if I'm... My advice to you would be more so to communicate, like get something done, like a render or something, and try to communicate with a vendor you want to work with. See if they can, if they're truly interested and you've done your ICs correctly, see if you can um, have them help you with the manufacturing process or just the sourcing of prototype units and stuff like that. Uh, sometimes they'll give you directions. Sometimes depending on the deal you make with people, they can even, you know, front the cash for that. So I think it really depends. Also, I think I do want to make my spacebar hot swap. This is my first time mill maxing my own PCB like ever. So like for a personal keyboard, just cause I'm actually not sure what spacebar I want to use for this. So you know what today, first time, First time for everything. I don't think I've ever mill maxed my own stuff. But I, I do it for everyone else and I always forget to do it for myself. Uh, has there been a case of vendors stealing designs? Reputable vendors won't do that. Uh, I wouldn't go to like a random vendor and be like, hey, Help me. Uh, yes, it is 001. We get to witness Alex's first time. <laughs> Sounds so wrong. I'm gonna solder in some corners here, guys, because this uh, three pin nonsense is kind of shimmying everywhere. What are we pausing? What is mill maxing? Um, it is the, well, the objective is we make the PCB that didn't come hot swapped, hot swappable. And you know what, for transparency, I actually like the Milmax sockets more than I like the standard Kale hot swap sockets, if I'm being real. Much prefer them. Thanks for the advice. Yeah, there's no, like, there's nothing good I can really tell you. Like you can, I just think that having the backing of a vendor mango, it just makes a lot more sense these days than trying to do it yourself. Yeah, I'm only doing the space bar. That's all I'm gonna do. Uh, hot swap playlist is kind of risky, but thoughts on Milmax playlist? I've only done it a handful of times and they've usually come out okay, but I, I don't know, not something I recommend.
do a few more of the switches in the middle here. They work on most. Sometimes you can have a PCB that's a little tough to insert the sockets and for example, like the ones on the cloud line are almost impossible because they're just too tight. But I would say on most they work. On most. Sorry guys, I'll look up in one second for chance. How much did you pay for those vents? These were given to me as like just a, you can clean them yourself and lube them yourself type thing from UniKeys to be transparent. One thing people don't, um, don't bring up is that Milmaxing and Alps compatible PCB can be much more difficult. To a certain degree, I agree with that. I guess I haven't had much of a problem with it just because I kind of do this thing where I move the, the pin or the the sockets upwards when I tape it. But I, I mean, yeah, I can I definitely get why it would be a bit more difficult. I understand that completely. Totally, totally get that. I hate mill maxing so much. Yeah, believe it or not, a lot of people don't like doing it. I mean. That's why I think a lot of people really enjoy the service that I have. Sometimes I have people who send me like six PCBs to mill max all at once. I've done a lot of mill maxing. Why are solder PCBs still a thing when hot swap options exist? A few reason. These are West German um, cherries, yeah, 1983. First time ever using this. So, okay. A bunch of reasons why solder still exists, and I hope with all my heart that it never disappears. First of all, more options for the most part. Uh, some of these options that exist on this PCB can literally not be done with using the KL hot swap sockets. Second of all, plateless builds. I understand there are some switches that allow for a plateless build, but most of the time it's just better to do it like this. Uh, sound wise, I used to be kind of a non-believer in this, but you know, in more recent years, I'm starting to understand there's a smidge of a different sound that comes from a soldered, uh, PCB. The board I started yesterday was like Swiss cheese with all the options. Yeah, you can definitely have that. I, I love the Swiss cheese ones. They're a little annoying to build up, but. And then I think the other thing too is just like flexibility on what you can do. And what I mean by flexibility, and you kind of have to be a little bit more open-minded here. When I say flexibility, I mean, if you know you want to solder something, you have that option, but you also have the option to mill max it yourself. So if there's a bit more of a DIY thing you want to have approached to, and I do think mill max sockets are superior to kale hot swap sockets, in my opinion, the specifically, I mean, 3305-1 sockets. Um, I mean, solder in general, I find just sounds a smidge more well-rounded. Maybe it's the sockets doing something. Maybe it's just not having complete contact or something completely surrounding some of the pins. Like maybe because there's a bit more room for sound to leak out of the sockets. Maybe that's a thing. The Milmax sockets, on the other hand, the ones you do yourself, I find are a lot more forgiving and for the most part, don't really sound much different than just soldering it. Stream is uh, awful German. What happened? Awfully German now because the vintage switches and the desk pad. Is MasterCard German? I don't know. Today I learned solder fumes improve your hearing. What the, who told you this? I feel like this kind of embarrassing to ask, but what does it mean to mill max a PCB? Not embarrassing one bit, never feel like, never feel embarrassed about any of those questions. Mill maxing is essentially taking these tiny little sockets, these guys, and just like I thread it through here. So see how this pin now has the sockets pushed through? 
and this will make the PCB hot swap. But instead of having the socket on the bottom, it just goes through the top and locks in that way there after you solder it. It's a lot more reliable. It's also a lot less dangerous. Uh, kale hot swap sockets, uh, if you are careless, you can actually pop them out of your, your PCB and damage your PCB. This, as far as I know, I've never done it once in my entire life, never heard anyone do it. You cannot pop these out. Just because of the way they sit. They kind of anchor from the top rather than the bottom. 3305-1 is my preferred. I used to like 0305. I still don't mind 030. If you don't know how to solder well and you're too scared to do the 3305, just get 0305. But I would never use 7305. Those are fucking god awful. I don't know why anyone uses those things. And the excuse to use them is crazy to me too. Yeah, just what Toby said too. Hope I didn't bend any pins. I tried before stream to make sure all the pins were straight. No, it's a box scratch, Vaza. Just moving things around. Cardboard slices your hand. It's already healed up, as you can see. 7305, because you know what it is, Keepsaw? 7305 is like the most unnecessary extra thing that you could do with the keyboard. They're really short sockets. And just, just to prove my point here, I'm going to zoom in all the way here. Do you guys see this? Okay. Hopefully you guys can tell. I just dropped one of my, my switches. It's okay. See this? Do you see the pin? How it literally comes to the, to the edge of this? See the pin there? Of the switch? Well, 7305 is like almost half the size of these height-wise. So you can see all of the pin. But why on earth do I even care? If, if it's half the size, when this is the same size as the pin. I feel like 7305 is just so extra. Like, and then, oh my God, the patience you need to solder that too is crazy, dude. The patience you need and the steady hand that you need is crazy. But uh, they're also more expensive. I guess some people are per perfectionists with the flatness of their PCB. Perhaps, perhaps that's the reason. Oh, I didn't finish putting in all the switches. This one here is going to be tough to do because these three pin ones. <laughs> there you go. Insti has a lovely, lovely comparison. So you guys see how the 0305 have a higher lip on the top? That doesn't bug me, it bugs some people, but uh, 3305 and 7305 are, if not the same thing possible. 3305s are a bit longer on the bottom, but some people say that they need to have 7305s in their board, which drives me up the walls when people say that because I'm like, the, the pin is gonna stick out the same length as the 3305 sockets. So it is crazy that people go to that length sometimes. I did have one really interesting commission one time, which was the most involved commission I think I've ever done, where someone had sent me, I didn't do this, but someone had actually clipped all of these in half on their switch. And it was three pin switches. They clipped all of the metal pins in half and they made me install seven 305s um, they were convinced I'm not going to shame them, but in, in a way, like, I think they were just like given the wrong information. They were convinced that their board had no room underneath the pins and they needed this as the install method and they wanted hot swap. And I, I just, I was like, man, I own the same board, <laughs> I have my switches regular soldered in, but they were convinced someone had to like convinced them, but, uh, yeah, most extreme I've ever done. It was, oh my God. It was either the, uh, I think it was a cloud line. No, it wasn't a cloud line, sorry. It was, 
Oh my god, it was a TKL. Oh, it was uh, the bias. Uh, where do you get your Milmax sockets? I get them from Mouser as well. Me with my Bina? The Bina, you can just do normal solder too. All right, let's solder this guy in. I hope this one here I don't do crooked. Oh well, if I do, I do. What am I supposed to say? Bottom housings are breaking. Are you lifting the, the switch correctly, uh, Mita? So there's two clips here. I'll just show you. There's two clips on the bottom and the top, and you got to push into those clips and lift. If you're pushing into them and it's just not pulling out, try to give it a little wiggle, then pull it out. See if that helps at all. You're not going to mill max Vince. No. I don't care. I'm gonna go balls deep, dude. Give me a little. What the fuck, Toby? Does Toby need a timeout right now? People always say it's a bad idea, but peeling the plate has always been my go to when sockets are stubborn. Cheese man. <laughs> Cheese man! Guys, don't listen to Cheese man. Don't yank, yoink on the plate. God damn, dude. Cheese man here giving me a heart attack, dude. How do I make sure my stab is the best possible for soldering? Um, I mean, you can just put on your keycap and give it a little go, but in my opinion, depending on the stab you're using, it doesn't have to be perfect. Sometimes you're gonna get that imperfect stab and that's okay. I'm just gonna do one leg on this one. Cause you can tune it up all um, afterwards. Oh, when you remove the easy ones. Jeez man, I'm not gonna lie. I just pictured you desoldering everything or like just having a hot swap and just ripping the plate like tape, dude. I'm not gonna lie. That's what my, my brain pictured there, man. I was like, that is damage. Is this board mill maxed? Uh, no, I only mill maxed one socket, the space bar. Uh, Evo says I should do my mill max for my next solder, his bet, but his advice is sometimes questionable. Yeah, Evo does sometimes give questionable advice, but I would say lately he's been on the up, you know what I mean? He's been given some good stuff. One time I did put my milky housing switches on my OG Jane copper plate. Oh my god, Vaza, I know the pain of that already. Rip every single switch there. That is a pain in the ass. I learned today that I was using the syringe the wrong hole of the stem. I was on a mode Instagram reel. Or like you learned it from an Instagram reel. I have my own tutorials on those if you ever need. Avo's questionable. Who's more questionable though? Avo or Adam? Or are they the same person? I was making sure to press the clip, but when I pulled, uh, oh yeah. I mean, I've done that so many times, Mita. You're not alone. Don't feel like you've messed anything up. Sometimes I do that on boards where I'm like, this should not have happened. If you've pulled the clips out already and you see the clips are depressed inwards, you can kind of grab the sides, like the left and right, with your switch puller and see if you can just get it a better grip on it that way. Only if you see the clips are depressed. Uh, Adam isn't even in the chat and still catching strays. He, he reaps what he sows. That's all I can say. That's literally it, dude. Adam is always in the chat. Can we confirm Adam's not here? Banning you from my love? You're banning Insty? 
I have spare. Thanks for uh, the knowledge. Anytime, dude. Always here to help as much as I possibly can. Does your solder iron touch the PCB? Yep. So the way this works, uh, maybe I can do like a close up today. I haven't done a close up of me soldering in some time. Okay. The way this works is you're gonna put your soldering iron along the pin. I let it warm up for like half a second, but I think most people would recommend letting it warm up for about a second. You're gonna push it into the pin. Now, oh wait, I should have done this a different way. So let me do this again. Let it warm up, push it into the pin. Let it flow for a second, then pull the iron off. But technically the iron should be touching both the pin and the contact pad. Um, I kind of do it a little different though. I actually start by pushing it into the side of the iron and then kind of flick my wrist upwards into the middle of the pin. I find I can solder more efficiently that way and a little bit faster. Not that you need speed by the way, but when I'm on stream, it does help. So this process doesn't take 20 years. The wooden bowl, it is from Etsy. Believe it or not, it is Spolted Maple. How do you like the Void compared to the Dune? Um, this is a tough one because I think the Dune is just better looking in my opinion. Like, I just personally like it more. But the Void was nice too. Like, the Void has the potential for a lot of good sounding pro, like, uh, sounding com combos with it. It might be more people's cup of tea because it's more of a standard design. The Dune's a little bit more out there. <clears throat> one second to uh, tip the pad, one second of solder wire to adjacent side of the pad, lift uh, wire and leave tip an additional second. Yeah, what Ugtug said. <coughs> but don't be afraid to spend more time with it. Like, you can easily leave the, the iron on the pad for about six seconds. So if you're finding yourself like still learning, don't feel bad for doing so. And I would only personally solder at 340 maximum in fact, I think I recommend for most people 330. <clears throat> that solder mask better be top dollar. Six week cooking with 30 seconds, baby. Wait, what? Th you want to do 30 seconds? Iron to iron to iron to pad? God damn, Ugg Tug. <laughs> the blue color on the dune? Yeah, the Dune is, uh, it has some good color combos. Three thirty AM or PM? What, what, what? What happens, Pork? Uh, I will solder one, uh, I will solder onto the pad. Hey, soldering's fun, guys. If you haven't tried it, I think you guys would enjoy it. But if you're too nervous, I also totally understand. I have seen some crazy fuck ups with solder. I do find going a bit uh, slower reduces splatter. Yes, there is definitely a pace that reduces the splatter for sure. Also, I find certain temperatures reduce the splatter a bit too. And how fast you push in the solder also can reduce some of the mess it makes as well. So I tend to go a little bit slower by pushing it in. I don't know, I don't even really know how to describe the speed of what I use. Have I ever baked a PCB? Can't say I have. Desoldering is the bane of my existence. I totally understand. I totally get that. Oh, 
Oh, sorry guys, it's a little blurry because I have the camera too focused out. We'll go back like this. I don't know if I'm gonna put CRP. I think I want to stick with a GMK set on this. I just don't, I haven't decided on what. So soldering can be a torturous depending on what you're soldering. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. Definitely can be a bit torturous depending on what. Kind of sad, but I'm just waiting for a TKL release to be my exit board. I think I'm going to quit purchasing part of the hobby. We'll just stick to watching build streams. Keepsaw, may I ask what brought you to think this way? If it's personal, like if it's financial, I totally understand that too, but... I don't want you to buy things, obviously, you don't want. But, you know, just curious. Do you know any cheap ways to practice soldering? There is the keep... Oh, what, are, what are they called now? S this... Skelets from uh, our Novel Keys website. The Skelet 40 and Skelet 60. I don't know if they're sold out or not, though. Your solder builds feel better than hotspot builds? No, I mean, I think that's true. Um, I think they're just more stable. Like, for a bunch of reasons, they just feel more stable. So I, I totally, totally understand. I think that's actually done in a very good way here. Uh, this one. All right, we are done with this. Why am I getting so many notifications? Okay. You find some brands easier to desolder? Yeah, I think uh, there are certain PCBs that are even easier to solder. So, same goes with the opposite. Did I do everything right here that I wanted to for my own build here? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. Now, we have some other little fun stuff in here. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Wait, what are these for? I don't think I've ever seen these pieces. What are these? I don't know if a uh, bunch of numbers are still there, but I don't know what those are for. Still enjoy watching your streams though. Thank you, Keepsaw. I don't think I have yet the excitement to constantly build boards. You know what? Totally get that. Clips to make the assembly easier. Oh, is it for the, to help install the O-ring? Oh, okay. I remember you mentioning this during the prototype that you were making something like that. I do remember. To clip the O-ring before putting it in the, the casing. Okay, okay. Oh shit, how does that work then? That's interesting. All right, let me put the daughter board in first here and then we can figure out the clips. The clips are new, I haven't seen the clips yet. Let's grab this guy. Hoo -hoo, excitement. Excited to see clips? Yeah, I'm uh, excited to see how this works too. Do I need a different bit for this? Yep, I need one larger. so difficult to take out any tips um for your keyboard photography uh i feel like i've been i don't know i feel like my only tip is just do what makes you feel like good photo wise if you want like technical tips then yeah i would say like lighting is the most important thing you could possibly do like once you nail lighting you'll be taking photos like no time start with single point lighting and maybe adding a bounce Don't go overboard with theming. One of my biggest pet peeves, I used to sort of do this just cause like, I don't know, I was just getting into it. But um, my biggest pet peeve is like flat lays with a bunch of unnecessary random desk clutter. I think it's just not, I mean, it's a personal preference. I'm just criticizing cause I think half times doesn't make sense. Um, 
But I, I think if you, you just learn how to take a picture of a keyboard before anything, get the lighting done, everything. But that's, that's really all I can say. Being creative has many different facets in which you will find enjoyment and you can also not like, right? You're converting from original chips. Okay, you know what I'm, you know what cheese man? This stainless steel mid piece is so chunky and I love it. And there's that polycarbonate piece as well. So cool. Okay, let's take this out first so we can install the daughter board. I think this is a different bit as well. Uh, here's my keyboard, a bowling ball, four paper clips, a doll head and four feathers. It's art. Yeah. Again, I used to sort of do that, but you know what? Like if it's actually on your desk and like you're known for something like that, then you know what? Do your thing. But I do find there's a lot of like on purpose flat lays with just a bunch of unnecessary clutter that literally doesn't make sense. And I get it. Sometimes it's just aesthetic. And like I said, I don't want to, I don't want to take away from what people do. I've stopped doing that entirely. I just don't care to do it anymore. Damn, even the weight has curves. <laughs> I haven't seen this in a hot minute. Was that there in the prototypes too? Oh, what's the soldering iron just used? All my stuff I use is an exclamation point kit, but I use the um, Hako. I forget the model number. It's like th FR88 something something. Uh, let's grab this guy. Cookie Curl's flat lays are insane. The theming there actually makes sense. But yeah, I love I love seeing her flat lays. Those things are crazy good, dude. Okay, so we need some screws here. Different bit as well. Maybe my only small pet peeve still is how many different bits we need for this board. Alex, would love to hear your thoughts on this build after you finish. The video, a bunch of numbers posted, made this seem like a pain in the ass to assemble and reassemble. Really? I think when I built it originally, I was a little confused on how the O-ring worked. I think having built it once gave me a bit of experience. But in truth, um, again, this is not a sponsored review. This is nothing of the sort. This is my own unit. I think in truth, this... I mean, it's your, it's a pretty run of the mill experience built wise. Like it doesn't have any unique aspects that would make this like easier or harder. I'd say maybe the O-rings a little bit obnoxious to get in from what I remember. Maybe these clips make it a lot easier. I don't even know how these things work, but we'll figure it out. But uh, I mean, seems pretty standard. There's a lot of screws. I get that. Yeah, I agree with Ugg Tug. I've had I've had obnoxious, really obnoxious uh, screws, screws or not screws, O-rings and builds. The semi-hidden screws in the backplate, screwless part for attaching the case. Do you mean this part here, the part I'm doing right now? Even this is pretty. Un I don't mean to say this in a negative way. Even having the screws hiding in the backplate over here, kind of run of the mill. I've seen this a bunch of times where people hide the cable underneath a separate piece on the bottom. Where the channels and the weight, you know? Um, yeah, nothing too crazy. The only thing I just don't remember how some of this builds and I wish I took the time to watch my entire video over again, Only not only just little clips. Uh, I mean, after you do the O-ring on the back of the PCB, You'll get there. Oh, I sort of remember that. So I think we have to remove this piece, right? We have to get rid of this piece from the board. Uh, where's my screwdriver kit? 
I think maybe the only real annoying thing is how many different bits we have. Is the O-ring in the way of the screws? Yeah, if I remember correctly, again, it's, it's been a hot minute, but you kind of have to like maneuver the O-ring underneath. Well, we get rid of this mid-frame here first. Uh, where is the screw head for this? This is what this, okay. It's definitely a more involved process. gets go but I'm just assuming it's in this uh, that's what the clips are for move the o-ring back from the hidden scripts yeah I need to figure out how the clips work maybe I should watch the build video <laughs> maybe that would help you know I can kind of see where the filing is a bunch of numbers but truth be told it really doesn't look too so are you talking about the filing Wait, where is the filing? You know, I don't even know where the hell it is. The one you're talking about, bunch of numbers. Top case. Oh, on this piece? Oh, do you mean like over here? Dude, I would say this is literally nothing. Uh, you know, if you never told me like, I am not offended by this. I am not offended in the least. I just saw the Hakko desoldering tool and it cost $500. Yeah, dude, those things were up in price recently. I don't know why. Uh, I need to get the build video pulled up for that. I wanna see how the clips work. I'm so curious. Uh, late night stream. Just got back from my hockey game. How'd the hockey game go? Did you guys win? Let's put that in there. All right, hold on, I'm gonna go pull up that build stream because I actually wouldn't mind seeing how these clips work because I've never seen them yet. I think a bunch of numbers DM me the thing here. Um, bunch of numbers, bunch of numbers. Where did he? Let's just type his name. <clears throat> Only one is needed, the other two are spares. Oh, oh I'm gonna go to the build guide here for one moment. And you said it's at what, 620? Oh, oh, that's so interesting. Hold on, so where's my O-rings now? Did I leave him in the case? I think I did. Actually, I need to decide which O-ring I want. Bunch of numbers, what's the heaviest O-ring here? I'm assuming it's the black one. Yeah, this feels the most dense. Okay, I'm gonna use this one here. I'm not a big fan of soft O-rings, personally. Actually, eh, once or twice I've actually preferred it, but I think normally I prefer O-rings with a little bit more density to them. Did the giveaway already happen? It did, it did. Many kind people here. Ooh, this one here's on the wrong side. So this is how the O-ring sits. See how it sits on these little pieces on the edges? Pretty nice, huh? And then what the guide is saying is you have to do this with the clip for the time being. That is actually such a fun idea. I didn't even put two and two together for that. 
very interesting. Yeah, yeah, I didn't really click. And then I guess the next step is just putting it inside the top frame here. Let me see how they did it. Just so I'm, I'm like 100%. Where is my, uh, or I guess the steel frame rather. This part. And then this goes their way. And this gets put, is there a left and a right to this? There is. This just gets put like this. Make sure it's all aligned proper. The G string mount, oh my goodness. Cool. That was actually pretty easy. And then this is how it's gonna look now. Actually, that was really easy. And then I guess we un we undo this, right? Well, I should just watch the video. I don't know why I'm, well, you know what? Fuck it, I don't mind. I'm guessing he just undoes it here. Also, you know what? I gotta say something. I, I, I gotta, I gotta applaud a bunch of numbers. You know how little sometimes some designers don't even care and don't even post build videos of their own builds. So I applaud you for doing that. Some people just say, fuck it. And then they don't even bother. I gotta say it is, it is a nice change of pace to see that once in a blue moon for someone to post a build video of their own build. Yeah, I know. Some people don't even build their own boards. And these get slid underneath here and we are done. So now we can actually start installing everything else. All right, I think that's all. Oh. So now we can put this all back together here. Yeah, Bull's great for it. Bull's actually been doing, what, live streams? Good on Bull. Actually, I'm gonna save these. These are like pretty nice, pretty nice to have. I'm gonna put this back in the bag. I think I need all these screws, right? Yeah, I do. All right. So that is all for this. Very fun implementation of Let's see if I call it here. Uh, plateless. Very, very fun. And then, for string this back together. How'd this work again? You don't even remember how this works. O ring time? O ring's been done. Let me just double check the build video. How did we screw this all together here? Oh, it's hiding underneath the gaskets. Okay. Oh, I see. My own my own uh, fault here for not seeing that. Let's get our screwdriver. I think it's these tiny screws we're using. And then this gets put right in here. Even this is not bad. I don't know if uh, banana, if this means anything. This is actually pretty easy. It's a bit more involved. Like you're not gonna do this super quick, but I don't have any quarrels with something like this. Which designers are we talking about, boys? The ones that don't build their own boys? Or uh, boys, boards? Dude, lots. Lots of people, I swear to God, don't build their own boards before they send it out to people. And there's like, some are just riddled with problems. You've seen us uh, get a few boards where it's like, how is this a thing? Oh, is it not these ones here? Did I put the wrong screws in a bunch of numbers? Wrong screws? My B. My bad. I need to get myself a better screw organization here. 
Oh, that does make more sense. It's like if we replace one by one. Uh, I just love to go in and make adjustments to a build till I land on something I love. If you want easier to build, I don't know if this is the best easy to build one, but I do think there's a lot of room for minor adjustments still with this board, if that still makes sense. It's just gonna be a more involved process. That's that's the, the big thing there probably. Way more involved. Yeah, derivative is a little easier. Derivative is just kind of like pop it open and you can change a few things. Well, this board here is gonna be a bit more time consuming to do so. I wouldn't say this is challenging by any stretch of the imagination. Just a lot more screws. Currently redesigning the O-ring process for a new design. Ooh, hey, bunch of numbers, any, any, uh, It's not playing the right video for this. Any uh, any leaks on the new design? Anything you can tell us? We like we like leaks. Uh, enjoy it. I'm gonna take care of my little brother. My parents are take care, Anna. Take care. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your night. Do I live in Canada? I do. Stuck here. Sometimes this bit is weird. I do live in Canada. Alex, where would you say you draw the line between hard to build board and tedious to build? Do you remember the build that we did with the, the tray? <laughs> or the recent one of the. I don't forget what it's called now, but was the, the IF or whatever it was called. That's where I draw the line between difficult and hard or, sorry, hard and tedious. Like another tedious board I would probably say would be the, did we get all of them here? Did I swap them all out? I did. Okay. Actually, no, that would be the only other tedious board I'd say. Nothing else is truly tedious. Oh, maybe, maybe the Tet. No, not the Tet, rather the, was it the Tet? The one, the, I don't know what it was called. But I, I think like, okay, let me define it here instead of giving you examples. Something's challenging to build or like tedious to build when there's just like a lot of screws or like, you know, maybe there's something that's just like boring, like there's 20 screws on something. Or for example, some of the Gray Studios boards require like 17,000 gaskets. That's tedious. I think hard to build is something where you're like struggling, maybe screwing in something. Or for example, like, I don't even know, like when you have a serious problem um, with a board that just can't actually be done. Yeah, like the 265 I think is hard to build. For example, I think even the Iron 165 with those challenging screws, I know they've fixed it since on, you know, some end was hard to build. I think tedious to build is like, this is tedious. This is not, I mean, it's still under two hours for our build stream. Short JSTs, like problems like that are become hard to build. Um, really short runs of ribbon cables, hard to build. You know what I mean? Yeah, looping the O-ring on the KV-1, hard to build. That was really challenging. I hated that aspect of that board. I love the JST length here. Thank you for not making it like two centimeters long. Oh, forgot the polycarbonate. Almost forgot the polycarb piece. The coolest part about this. <laughs> Which would you rather choose? I would choose tedious any day of the week. There's no reason why I would choose the other thing. Ooh, okay, this is maybe a feature I didn't point out in the original build. This is such a nice touch, by the way, a bunch of numbers. This little alignment peg right over here. And then also you have some other alignment stuff here so you know which way's up and which way's down. That's really smart. I really appreciate that.
Yeah, like little details like that. Oh, this is hidden screw. Little details like that matter a lot. I think tedious is also hidden screw. Tedious doesn't make it hard. Um, sorry, like the hidden screw doesn't make it hard, but it is tedious. It is a little annoying and a little tedious too. Mm -mm. Gonna add northeast. Yeah, that's a really nice feature, believe it or not. Did you solder in that pin? I did. The one I said I was gonna wait? Yeah. Lord knows I missed another one, but I guess we'll see when that time comes. Those are magnetic now? Oh yeah, you know what? Good call, these are magnetic. Nice touch. I'm so used to a lot of people not working with magnetic screws. Almost done? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we're almost there. Also, I think this is a nice touch too. As much as I still don't really care for hidden screws, when you give a lot of ample space for the screws to go in, it j and you know, when you're using magnetic screws, it just makes like this process, it makes me not want to complain about them being hidden screws. I know you still have to take keycaps off and, you know, kind of disassemble your build a little further, but it is way nicer to have. For me, a board with lots of flex cables and battery is more difficult to build than a board with lots of screws. That's a good point too. I, I can definitely have some personal challenges with those as well. With a numpad that aren't 100%. Isn't there the Wind series? The Wind series might be something you're looking for. That may be something that catches your eye. Right, I'm gonna put this back in the box for now. I'm gonna move the box off the desk. Just so we don't have this sitting around. Ribbon cables can go straight to hell. I know there are certain use cases which make sense, but for the most part, fuck them. <laughs> for the most part, I hate them, dude. Little cherry lip on this board. Oof, gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right, I'm gonna go find Noir, because I think that's the set I'm settling on right now. Or just Wob. I don't know which one I'm gonna use. I also don't know where anything is. This is Wob, but pretty positive it's on a keyboard right now. More set on Noir. Where is Noir? That's Redline 8008. Oh, Noir is on a board. But which board is Noir on is the question. Do you guys remember what board I used Noir on? I have a feeling it's on... I have a feeling it's on my derivative. Monike? Monike series is nice. Now, to find what board I put this on. That is the, the ultimate task. Was it on Dune? No, I don't think it was on the Dune, was it? Was it on the Dune? Where did I even put the Dune? I don't know which, uh, which board I kept the Noir set on. I'm gonna go take a peek in my cabinet. I don't, I don't exactly remember. Uh, I mean, if I can't find it, we'll use something else. Maybe Olivia would look good on this too. Maybe Olivia. Oh, I got it. Noir. We're using Noir. It's on the uh, transition light. I think this is a great set for this. Yeah, I think Noir is going to hit on this. Actually, we'll leave it on this view for a time being. I don't know though. Do we go just straight no accents? I think no accents. Alex, pretty please. But I don't have any of those right now. That's the only problem, Banana Man. Oh my God. Fuck these switches. Okay, yep. I know we're gonna take a look at the keyboard. These switches already feel so good. Oh my God, the scratch is crazy on these. 
Ooh. Do you guys hear? Do you guys hear that? Like I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the mic picks up sometimes. I don't know how sensitive it is to certain things. <laughs> Into you like? Oops. Ooh, I'm pumped. Oh, if you guys want to know the desk pad, I think Oak set up a command where it's just exclamation point desk pad or something like that. You should not tease. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna try not to. That scratch about to bust. Uh, these were those, oh God, what were they called? Those p switches from Pantheon keys. I can't remember the name of them, but they were the silly name. What year are these switches again? Um, these are 1983 West Germany switches that apparently, I think meme has always memed us about or something, or who is it that memed us? So it was joke. no, it was uh, not meme, it was someone else. It was uh, Fried, Fried always memes us. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do the white accents. I think I wanna keep this like kind of stealthy and let the, the board color, cause this is a really pretty color, do the talking. Fried must be based. <laughs> Fried's pretty based. Yeah, at this point here, it's, it's just, it kind of looks like Wob, but it has more of a, a cream to it. Cream colored uh, alphas for the legends, I should say. F keys up here? I guess for now I'll just put the F keys. I don't know. I don't know what I want to put here yet. I kind of want to decorate this with some artisans. Maybe I should get back into some artisans. But for now, we'll just put these. Yeah, I guess so. You know what set has the really nice macro buttons? Actually, oh, shit, which, which set is that again? the Omni type ones. Oh god, I keep dropping keycaps. One of the Omni type sets has them. Is it Dual Shot? Dual Shot has some good ones. There's my regular. Actually, is there a black enter with the designs? I can't remember. Oh, there is. I'm gonna use this. There we go. Can you put Noir Accent on the bottom for XT switches? Like over here? I don't know if I have enough of the Accent keys for that though. That's my only concern. Actually, do we even have enough of these? Well, before I jump into putting these here. Hold on, hold on. I kind of want to. I kind of want to do those. What would you guys recommend? I want a sixty-five percent. Only one board. The Zim seventy-five so far. If you want sixty-five, I think there's plenty of amazing options right now. But um, depending on your budget, there's tons. Right, the Bauer is a good choice. I personally like the Bauer. Manic, thank you so much. I appreciate it, dude. Yeah, there's the Neo sixty-five. I mean, my friend just got it, dude. He, he has it on lock right now. He is popping off with those suggestions. Wait, is that all the the uh, special novelty that I have? I feel like I'm missing one. Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe I am missing one. Shift. Sorry guys, give me one moment. No. Pop my head up again here. I'm gonna do this. Oops. Board looks sick. Thank you. Ah. I guess that's all I have for those special accents. You know what then? I guess I'll just unfortunately take out this one here as well. Maybe I'll just put alt in there. Uh, 
or you know what let's just do controls maybe we'll do the controls on the ins or the outsides so it's not as like heavy of accents on the outsides here oh yeah there's also the mode 65 dude there's so many boards out right now that you can go for and then i need the escape button escape. oh you know what no we already used this one here a bunch of times escape okay uh right now the only place i can recommend is just harvesting your own or just going to unikey i all the other places i've used have unfortunately closed down over the years um let's just put these back in the box too so i don't really have like a good vintage recommendation for you guys right now it's kind of unfortunate but Yeah, not a whole hell of a lot. Go to West Germany. I don't know if they have them readily available there, but uh, yeah, maybe. Then find a time machine. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's the, the better course of action. I'm unsure. I don't know where this screw came from, but I'll put it in my screw dish. Alrighty. What do we think? Do we like the way this turned out? I'm kind of in the way, I know, but well, let me put some stuff away here. Clean looking board. Here's a side profile. So again, we got the stainless. Uh, we have the aluminum top over here. Polycarb, oof. Polycarb's looking sweet. The weight's looking good. What's nice too is the weight even has a bit of a curve. So, I mean, there's just a lot of, a lot of stuff going on here. Flip the space bar. Did I flip it? Was I supposed to flip it? How much does it weigh? Oh, it's pretty heavy. I don't have my scale like on hand at the moment. Ah, this is going to sound delightful with these switches, dude. So vintage switches, uh, aluminum plate, heaviest O-ring on this. That is so unique. What I did with these switches, I put the Chewy Springs from Swag Keys, 205G0, and then Desky Films. Very light coat of lube on these switches too. Maybe it's just the microphone. I don't think it's quiet at all, but God damn. Oh God, the scratch is so sick on this. It has a slight texture when you're actuating the switches, definitely insty. But like, it's also really smooth feeling at the same time. Like I, it doesn't feel like there's sand in there. You know what I mean? I'd be curious. I want to see how this switch compares to like a Nixie. So I'm kind of curious to see if we swap out the space bar. Because again, I, that's why I wanted to do a Milmax on this. I'm not, too, I wasn't too sure how these were going to sound as space bars. So let's find a Nixie really quick. Actually, I'm just going to move some stuff to the side here. Because I'm very curious. This pin is so bent. No way he puts a pocket Nixie on a vintage switch. 
for a vintage build. Leave me alone. It's a smidge louder. Yeah, I don't think it go. All the scratch is gone now. Yeah, I missed the scratch. I'm gonna go back with the vintage switch. We're gonna go back with this guy here, guys. Oh God, the scratch is beautiful. Yeah, I think we need to go all scratchy. I'm gonna just tune this a smidge bit better here too. I do feel like it needs a smidge Cornographic more. gifted a tier one sub to a bunk of numbers zero. They have Thank given you. 17 gift subs in the channel. Appreciate that corn. Really appreciate you, man. All right, let's put you back in here, buddy. All right. Oh yeah, the extra tuning on the stab made a big difference. This is sick. The board overall though, not just focusing on the switches, the board sounds really good. I'd be so curious to do this now. I want to do this with, again, cherry switches, but I want to do cherry switches with plateless. I think that's the next stop here. Oh my God. Can we get an email co-working stream of just typing on this board? Now, the moment of other truth to make sure all the vintage switches work. That is the, uh, <laughs> that is the unfortunate other thing we need to make sure of. Lord knows there's gonna be two or three of these that just don't, don't actuate because they're just rotted on the inside. Wish me luck, everybody. Okay, this one. The E as well, so we're gonna have to desolder a few of these. The B. Is it only three? Oh, this is delete, this is bound to delete. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. I'm gonna, this is, I'm gonna do it now if you guys wanna watch. Like I'm just gonna, Replace the three switches now. Just so you guys know too. I'm actually, I'm gonna replace these both right over here. This is bound to happen with uh, vintage stuff, by the way. Bound to happen. This is also why I lubed like seven or, t seven or eight extras because I knew this was gonna happen. And I, I should have tested them before stream, but whatever, man. One, two, three, and four. So just these three, not bad. Honestly, not bad at all. Okay. All right, now, which ones do I need to remove here? I mean, I could have done that, but I just didn't. Because I, I literally finished lubing the switches like 10 minutes before stream. So, my own fault. Now you guys get to see me desolder some vintage switches. Uh, sorry, what is everyone asking about the switches? Uh, these I got from... They were sent to me by Unikeys. 
Would I spend money on vintage switches this old? I don't know. I feel like it's kind of a gamble. They have some right now. Very nice build off the bed. Thank you guys. If you guys are heading off right now, please have a good one guys. Love you guys for tuning in. Also a bunch of numbers. The board is fantastic. I am so happy with it. Move these off to the side. Yeah, you guys are gonna watch me build things still. So if you guys are sticking around, appreciate it, guys. If not, don't stress. Love you guys. Have a good night. This is gonna be easy to do, by the way, because it's not like I have to disassemble a crap ton to get there. Just these screws. Everything else is pre assembled. I don't have to touch the assembly at all. Just desoldering a few things. No talking, uh, no keyboards. We just watched him sleep. Then Alex complains in the morning streams about how he slept late and feeling off. No, no, no. I'm actually gonna move tomorrow's stream to 7 p.m. There's no possible way I'm going to bed Waking up, having breakfast, doing a few emails, and then streaming again. I'm going to be responsible and not not absolutely murder my sleep schedule because of streaming right now. <laughs> you did call it. Thank God you're moving tomorrow. It's just going to be moved later in the day. Like, way later, instead of 7 p.m. Damn, dude. Oh, my God. KO, thank you so much, man. Where'd that one screw go? Thank you, thank you. Wait, are all the screws there? One, two, three, four. Oh no, where'd the one screw go? What the? Oh, it's still in there. Okay, just leave it there. Thank you, thank you for the five tier ones, dude. Is there any way to make modern switches have this kind of scratch? No, I've actually asked some uh, manufacturers if I can replicate a lot of scratch and everyone's laughed at me. I don't know why, but no one's taken, taken me serious. Okay, we'll use these four because these four look the least deteriorated to, for the most part. All right, let me get my desolder in here. One second. Oh, I'm starting to feel the sleepiness. Have you tried mode? I could ask mode. Could see if they want to do something like that. Why would you guys be interested if I could uh, convince someone to do really scratchy switches? I feel like there'd be a lot of trial and error with those. I think John. I took Gian to make a scratches with the Hamu. Was it good though? Also, thank you for buying the hat. I appreciate whoever did that. Thank you. Which keys was it again? I took off so many keycaps and now I forgot. Hold on, let me go back to my, my thingy here. It was, was it the, it was the B, the E and those two. Yeah, yeah, okay. Which one's B? B is this guy. So nice. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that, Zanu. And then these two, I believe. Yep. Like I said, this is one of the pitfalls of doing vintage. Sometimes you get stuff that doesn't work. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Nothing at all. Just turn back on the iron. Is the Hamu Gion Black you built? Uh, really? I don't think those were super scratchy. 
I'm gonna keep it a buck and say that I, I really don't think those hold a candle to how scratchy these are. Get the dead ones out of here. Hopefully these are all good. If not, I desolder again. Oh well. Sandpaper? Like sanding the inside of a keyboard switch? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that would affect any sort of sound. This is definitely the scratchiest board I've ever built. It's quite, you know, it's quite nice. Like I know the idea originally, and I know I'm, if I make this a YouTube video, there's gonna be that one guy who's like, I remember back in my day, we tried to get rid of the scratch. Now these idiots just wanna put the scratch back in. But you know what, it's all preference. I kinda like it. Reverse diamond polishing. Back in my day, we used to snort the solder fumes. Yeah, you know. So it was something silly like that, huh? Yeah, dead silent tangies. I remember that too. Telios, everyone's spending money on the Telios switch. Okay, before we close it back up completely, let's just uh, ensure these four switches all work. Wonderful. We're all good, guys. We can screw it back together now. Alex is going to develop a... Oh, it's... oh my god, dude. Can you build it with foam instead of only thinking of yourself? Did I ever tell you guys about that? I think I, think I did. I think I posted it in Discord, but... Any 75 frames that... Wait, what happened? Oh, nah, I mean, not really. The only thing I can think of right now is the Evolve that Arch Archetype ran. If you kind of want that kind of in like that specific aesthetic. But that's really it. That's all I can think of off the top of my head. That would be the only board my, my little brain can think of. I fix it soldering kit. They did a soldering kit? Good for them. I'd be curious to see it. All right, let's put these back on. Dude, this is gonna be my, my board for the next little bit here, guys. This is staying on the desk. That scratchy goodness is here to stay, dude. Ori dethroned? Nah, I, Ori good for different reasons. Milky yellows are insane, dude. They're so good. You gotta love the milky yellows. But you know what? For the time being, this is it. It's comfy. This is comfy to type on too. I really like the mounting style on this. Feels good. It's a pretty unique way to do the uh, O-ring mount too. Um, is, has Hako stuff? It's 300 bucks. What? Really? I think tomorrow I'm going to redeem a keyboard change. Oh my God. I can't wait to do a playlist on this. This is gonna sound sick with a playlist. Uh, I mean, there's only so much I can do with the vintage stuff. I tried to get one of, rid of some of the ones I knew would be inconsistent. 
but there's gonna be some like stray inconsistent ones probably here and there but swapping the spring was a big help on these so for the most part everything feels good the ones that were more broken in than the rest i got rid of completely i didn't want to deal with those god damn though bro I gotta admit this is something this truly is something Ooh. all right i'm very happy with this build guys i don't want to throw these dead ones out because i think they're pretty cool but i'll uh i'm gonna move these to the side and figure out if i want to do something with those maybe i can make them into art or something like that no desk pad test all right give me one second let me put some stuff away and then we'll do a no desk pad test. Turn off my iron. <clears throat> Genuinely, maybe I can give them away. Ooh, this looks fantastic with no desk pad. Interesting sound. Hold on. Yeah, not bad with no desk pad. I still prefer it with the desk pad. There is some like extra base that happens with no desk, but it's not the worst. Yeah, this sounds a lot cleaner. No base, no extra weird base. I do have one of the Corkies. Yeah, here, I'll grab a Corky too. Um, do I have a Corky on hand? Oh, I do, it's right here. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. <clears throat> the board has a very luxurious color. Yeah, I love the, the color of this board is fantastic. Ooh, this does look really clean, just like this. This looks so clean like this. I got to admit, I don't know what you guys think, but all right, let's see how it sounds with just a corky. Ah, I would say relatively the same. Yeah, same as the desk pad. God, these switches feel so good. Actually, I really like these springs too. These swag key springs. Hmm. Next big thing I would love to see from budget boards is Anno like this and the Ori. Yeah, I know. I don't know why no one's doing these colors. These colors feel real. Like they just look so luxurious. You're right. These are 63 and 63 gram chewy springs from um, Swag Keys. They're 17.5 mil. A little 360 of the, the keyboard again, for sure. Here, we'll do it like this. There's that polycarb layer, stainless, aluminum, back to aluminum. It's a happy marriage of different materials that I think makes the keyboard look extremely unique. And then again, on the back here, we have even more. So I think with maybe other colors, you can see the polycarb layer a bit more, but it definitely is kind of kind of fun to have that polycarb layer there. It just adds texture to the board. It kind of makes it feel like more thought out in a lot of ways too. Are you back on medium heavy? No, I actually accidentally ordered an extra set of 63 gram because originally I was doing it for a client. And I said, you know what, whatever, I'll use them for a switch. I was a little worried that if I went too light on these really scratchy ones, it would be a bit too much to handle. And when I was testing it, 
my suspicions were right. They just were like extra, extra scratchy with the light spring. Like it was just moving too quick. God damn, dude. <laughs> Dokai, thank you so much for the tier ones. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you, thank you, man. That means a lot. I hope your night's been going fantastic. But the 63s were like a good in between with all of this. Looking at the page for this board right now, I love the green. Yeah, there's some good colors for it. Some really good colors for this. God, the cherry lip on this too, on the side, like you, it's hard to see the cherry lip. It's not as an exaggerated cherry lip as some other ones, but damn. God damn, I love this thing. I want to show support for convince me to get a mode on it. How do you like it? Did it end up coming in yet? Did you build it? Do you like it? Yeah, the 60 XT though, it's sick too. Damn. It's been a while since I've built a personal board. This one here I put a lot of thought into. Like I, I already knew I was going to use the, either this or Milky Yellows. I opted just to go with this. I'm going to use Milky Yellows for a different personal board. But I think the next personal board I'm going to do is actually another Sonnet, believe it or not. I'm going to do a f not a full polycarbonate one but a polycarb slash copper sonnet i've been kind of itching to build my my sonnet with some uh polycarb pieces i have yet to do it so man's making his fourth sonnet such a good part <laughs> no i'm gonna i'm taking pieces from my others so if you guys didn't know i gave back the number one of ten um copper sonnet insert so i don't actually have an insert for that one there so I was just going to take the pieces of that and kind of mix match it with some of the polycarb pieces and see how that looks. I don't know. Just I just got an extra top. Basically, I'm going to blend it together with stuff. So love it. Made it with ceramic keycaps. I'm so curious to know how that sounds. So curious, dude. That is, this sounds really fun, to be honest. My ass is too broke to buy a sonnet. Hey, you know what? We all we all kind of have different paces of what we can buy. But I'm happy that you're here. And I friend, if you ever do a if you ever do a commission, I'll give you one of those uh those vent switches you can play around with. PC and copper always makes me think of the Geist machine. Oh yes, the Geist boards for sure. I I know. They they've kind of popularized that colorway. Alright, guys. I'm gonna go find someone to raid. We're gonna head go off find... here. Oh god, that's me talking. And then tomorrow. We're gonna be streaming again. So, I don't know who's streaming. It's been a long time since I've streamed this late. And I highly doubt anyone's doing keyboard stuff. Um, yeah, I don't think anyone is. I have no one that I'm following streaming either. Time to raid ducks. It might be duck raiding time for sure. I might go raid some, some animals for us to watch. Is the duck stream up though? Here, let's, let's go raid some, some cute stuff here. You guys want to raid some raccoons? Fuck it, let's go raid raccoons. Oh, that is not the copy paste button. This one is for now, after rebuying this. Some trash pandas. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your night. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful sleep, or if it's daytime for you, have a good day. I'm gonna go clean up a smidge, take a shower, try to finish my last episode the last 20 minutes of rings of power and then go to bed as well thanks for tuning in today was an amazing fun little build uh yeah thanks for tuning in guys love you and enjoy the enjoy the raid and enjoy watching some wildlife bye everybody